Hello and welcome to this guide as to how to install the Digital Audio Workstation Reaper on Linux distributions. Now, if you've watched my previous videos I've been doing on Digital Audio Workstations, or DAWs for short, I've recently left Pro Tools and have been looking at a few different potential Digital Audio Workstations to go to. One of them being Ardor, which is easily available on most Linux distributions repositories. I'm using Ubuntu Studio here, so it actually comes pre-installed. However, another big one, which is a big one in sort of the general music space, is Reaper. And surprisingly enough, it actually has a proper build for Linux. It's technically a beta version, but as from all accounts I can hear, it seems to work fairly well. So here's the Reaper website. And to do it, we're simply gonna go on to download Reaper, and scroll down a bit, and look, they have a uh, Linux bit right there. Now there's a few different versions here, but for the majority of modern computers, you want to go for the x86 underscore 64 bits, so you just click download, and that would download the version you would need. This is going to do the vast majority of modern day computers. They do have i686, I'm not sure if that's just like standard x86. They have 64-bit A Arch, I'm not quite sure what that architecture is, and they have a version for ARM. Uh, but for the vast, vast majority of people using normal computers, you just want to just click the normal download to get the normal x86 underscore 64-bit version. And as of the date of this recording, the current version of Reaper is version 6.34. Now, once you've downloaded that, you'll get this file right here. And I've actually made a folder to do all the installations in, so I've made a Reaper folder that's in my home directory. And all you need to do is take this file and extract it, which gives you this folder here, which if we open up, we get all of the needed installation files. And uh, here is how you would then install it. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to one side and I've got my terminal open here as well as my file manager. And uh, first things first, just to make life a bit easy, I'm going to change directory. Uh, so that's CD space and then it's going to be uh, this thread up here, which I'm just going to copy and paste in. So now my terminal is actually in this directory here. And what I'm going to need to do is to run that installation file there, I'm going to do dot slash and i'm going to type in what's there install dash reaper dot sh i'm going to hit enter and we get the first few bits of the install script uh, there's a readme file uh, there's just running it and then there's installing it and there's the add desktop integration now this bit we want to do but we're going to be adding this in later because it gives you an option in the installation so the commands it wants you to do are either v r i or a and we're going to do I to install it, so typing in I, and then hitting enter. Here we go, install Reaper. Install it to slash opt, or to slash home. Now, for the vast majority of things, especially like big programs like Reaper, and seeing as, you know, I'm using things like a low latency Linux kernel here, I want this to be, you know, as baked into the system as possible. I'm going to be going for the first option, so I'm going to hit 1 here. Now, it does say we need to enter your pseudo password, which we'll be doing a bit later. So, we've got 1 entered in there, we're going to hit enter. Would you like to add the desktop integration? Like I said, they were going to mention this before. We do Y because we would like that, just to make life a little bit easier. Hit enter. Would you like Symlink? Now I looked this up, and as far as I can tell, this basically means that if you want to change certain files, um, there should be like an easier or more easy accessible way of doing it uh, that doesn't involve you having to sort of go fishing around in all of the um, all of the like innards of the system. So I'm going to do Y for this. And then there we go, it's, giving, it's telling us exactly what it's going to do, and it's asking if we want to confirm our option. If we want to proceed with the install, I'm going to do Y, and it's going to ask me in a second, there we go, to do the uh, pseudo password, so here we go. As my pseudo password in, I've hit enter, and now it has now fully installed. And there we go, it is genuinely as easy as that. So if I go back into this file, I can go back, and you actually can just delete the .tar.xz file now, as it's just, just the compressed version of all these files you originally had. And so if I now go into here, and type in Reaper. There it is. So if I click here, and Reaper is initializing, and it's installed in the system. It's looking up all my plugins, and here we go. It opens up with the standard thing. I'm gonna click on the still evaluating. There was an error. This is all stuff I can sort of fix using Jack. Just closing that there, opening it fully. And here we go. We have a fully installed version of Reaper for Linux. And uh, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.